here at 430 on WHS 11 News. We are sticking with the top story in the nation, Hurricane Milton, and you are taking a live look at Sand K Beach in Longboat, Florida, just south of Tampa Bay, courtesy of EarthCam. And you can see the waves are getting rough out there. That's for sure. Yeah, the outer bands of Hurricane Milton now sweeping across Florida. The powerful Category 3 storm is just hours away now from making landfall. And there have already been several tornadoes reported in the state. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is live in Tampa with more on what's expected to be one of the strongest hurricanes on record to hit the region. Hurricane Milton closing in on the west coast of Florida. Rain and wind already being felt. The storm's outer bands spawning several tornadoes. This one northwest of Miami along Alligator Alley, another in Fort Lauderdale. The massive storm expected to bring a record-breaking storm surge of 8 to 12 feet for the Tampa Bay and Fort Myers areas. An even bigger storm surge of 10 to 15 feet is expected into Sarasota and south. Hurricane Milton is going to be a deadly and catastrophic storm. It will bring massive storm surge, high winds, and severe flooding as it moves across the state of Florida. Resources assembled to respond. Utility crews on standby anticipating widespread power outages. Well, President Biden like and I Vice President it. Harris both briefed on the Very situation nice. this afternoon. But I urge everyone in Hurricane Milton's path to follow all safety instructions as we head to the next 24 hours. It's a matter of literally a matter of life and death. Millions warned to evacuate and many listened. Some packing what they could, going to shelters. Everybody's worried about the same thing, you know. Do you have a home to come back to or, you know, damage? But not everyone heeded the warnings. These storms are nothing to mess with. Uh, although I'm a Floridian, I'm used to it. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge over Tampa Bay closed. People fortified their homes. Buttoned up the best we could and we got out of there. One homeowner literally tying down his home using heavy-duty straps. FEMA says there are more than 1,000 responders ready with food and water, as well as search and rescue teams. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Tampa.